Hello shenanigamers, and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. Last time we went into the cove on our first champion mission. And this time, ooh, that's a pretty good trinket. Ancestor's Coat. Plus 15 dodge, plus 10% stress. Pretty decent trade off there. But this time, I think. Mm, I think this time we're gonna go to the ruins. It's gonna be another champion mission. But I think we can get it done. So then the question is who do we take? Since we're going into the ruins this time. Who do we bring with us? Well, being a ruins adventurer, I think Alpha is a pretty clear choice to bring with us. Who else can we bring? We could bring Solaris for some protection. Being a ruins scrounger, I feel like Mortimer might be a good bet. The blights and the stuns will come in handy. We could bring Pasha. We actually could bring Pasha. For the blights, the debuffs, the dodge, and the, and the light amount of healing. It wouldn't be a terrible bet. And then you can also more dedicated healer, bring Doai. Let's go ahead and do that, but first things first. No, we don't want the black and green to kill. Here we go. Let's get Doai's skills up just a bit. We'll make sure we get that heal maximized. And we want to make sure we have Alpha's stand maximized. Which ones do we have equipped? We have Sniper Shot on currently. So, let's bring that up. Okay. That should do for now. So then let's get everyone some trinkets here. Alpha, I'm gonna go ahead and give you... Uh, obviously, as we always do it, we're gonna give you the healing armlet. And this time around, I think we actually give you Barristan's head for more protection. Mortimer, do we give you? We give you the Lock of Fury. Drop the hit points by a little bit, but the damage and speed go up, which is good. And then we'll also give you the lo the Padlock of Transference. The extra. Stun and Blight Chance. Now, Ashal can give you the Candle of Life. He could give you the Fleet Flooring. So yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Candle of Life and the Fleet Flooring. Well, no. If we give them the Fleet Flooring, it's going to leave a few too many things to chance. If we take them in without the Bag of Marbles. We keep that dodge as high as we can. And then we'll use the Medic's Greaves here, give those to Doai, as well as um, Luminous up speed and dodge, so we're going to go ahead and give Doai the, um, yeah, we'll give them the Steady Bracer. Head to provisions. Oh, hang on a second. We're on the wrong quest there. There we go. That's better. Alright, we still got the trinkets and everything. We don't want to go for a longer mission. We'll take all the food we can. We'll stack in half. Three shovels. Take four anti-venoms. Full stack of bandages. Four medicinal herbs. Four holy waters. And we'll take two keys. 
Just because I'm paranoid about it right now, we're gonna take a full stack of laudanum. And we're gonna take two full stacks of torches. Alright, well, let's go ahead and embark. Face out the halls of your lineage once familiar. Now, Oren. Alright. Just got out 90% of runes here. Let's try to avoid any rune battles we don't have to get into. And hallway battles for that matter. But we, we can skip this room. There's a hallway battle leading to and from it. Which means we're going to have to go this way to get one of them. Leading to it. We have a cultist champion and an insatiable ghoul. Now 57 health, 40% protection. We're still unholy. Dodge of 26, speed of 7. Still have rend, skull toss, and howl. 90% stun resistance, 102% move resistance, and 60% blight bleed and debuff resistance. Alright, let's see what we can do. We do get the surprise. We're gonna have Kashal buff everyone's dodge a bit first. And we're gonna have Alpha set up the withstand for 55% protection right off the bat. And then we'll go with this. Uh, yeah, we'll go with this. Take the sniper shot. Cool. Some dodge, of course. Go with the manacles here with a crit for 10 and get done. Fear no demon for the greatest monster lies inside. Alright, Mortal. Stun, rend on Alpha. Resist the debuff and bleed. Alright, let's go with the manacles on the tools now. No stun, 90% resistance though, so kind of expected. Let's see that. Uh, let's go for another invigorating vapors here. And then we'll go for the... Yeah, we'll go for the, uh, go for the sniper shot on the two again. Oh, there we go. Contact on it that time. Good gods. Ow. Resisted the debuff. Not resist the bleed, though. Ow. Fear the one with horror is the mind. Let's go for the chop on this ghoul. Protection's putting in a lot of work for him. Let's try and cut through it with some blights then. Peace while. Yeah, we get the debuff and the bleed. We'll stack on some more blight on top of that. Get the shell. Go. Get the debuff. Get the blight. I think I said bleed before. I meant to say blight. Debuff and the blight. There we go. Now let's go for the battlefield bandage on Alpha here. Heal them up. Make sure they heal them more. Uh, howl. Ooh, good full team dodge from everyone except Dwai. And Dwai resisted though, which I'm glad they did. French Duel Gods on Mortimer. Debuff and the bleed. Let's go for the. Let's go for the heal actually. And they both dodged. Okay. Let's go for more festival papers on this insatiable ghoul. Keep that blight high if we can. The ghoul of gods. Good dive point of Their howl. It's everybody. The horror. Do I resist it that one? But, uh, and the shawl is that it as well, but unfortunately Mortimer and Alpha did not. It's fine though. Let's go for a rally of flare here. Keep the lights up. And the stress down just a little bit. Go for the beast file here, which they dodge. And then we 
Jump up another huge. Actually hit with that one. Now more festering boosters here. That flight is almost enough to take that ghoul out on its own. All we can do is hit. Which we don't. That's not one health. Rend on Alpha. Leave back up. Rend the old gods. Ow. Resisted the debuff from the there though. Alright, let's go for another battle for Bandage here on Alpha. Ooh. And let's go for the Lodgem, just get the stress gone. We'll go for the Bandage, get those bleeds gone. We could use Salinity here, but instead we're gonna go for the Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Take the minor antique, and we can actually take all of this, so we will. Bring the lights up. Use a bandage and some laudanum. One Mortimer. We'll head over to this room. So we know there's no room battle. We don't get a scout, but that's fine. And we'll head back the way we came. Heading back to the entrance to this place. There we go. We'll head down this way. There is a trap here. We have 60, 60, 60, and 60. So, I shall go for it. Did not work. Watch your All right. step. Well, the point is that trap is now out of our way. We are not going for that, especially not on champion difficulty. That is not happening. Torchlight up. And we do get a scout. There's a hallway battle leading down this way. So, we might as well head that way. Bring the torchlight back up. We can deal with the hunger just fine. That's why we have all that food. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Clear the rubble with the shovel. Bring the torchlight back up. No room battle. No scout here. So, let's just go ahead and head down this way. There's a torch here. And a rare antique. Well, we can actually use these two rations of food and this torch. The way is lit. Take that the path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. And so now we have two bulbous maggots. 12 hit points, 21 dodge, 5 speed, same skill, great nibble. 140% stun resist, 100% debuff resist, 80% blight and bleed resist, and 40% move resist. Oh, it's all resistance. It's not just resist. 140% stun resistance, 100% debuff resistance, 80% blight and bleed resistance, and 40% move resistance. Same diff, really. Same thing. Either way, let's see what we can do here. Let's go for the beast spot. Both. It resists the debuff, but the maggot does not resist the blight. The green vapors do much. And then we'll go with the sniper shot. The maggot Press this advantage. That just takes them down. Give them no quarter. And then we'll go with the withstand on Alpha. Rend on Alpha. Resist the debuff and bleed. Nibble on Alpha. Stress and we resist the stun. Bleed. Now let's go for the manacles on the ghoul. We actually get the stun there. And the stun goes off there. Now let's go for the festering vapors on the ghoul. Instead of a blight and a little blight resistance. And we can go for the sniper shot. Grave nibble on Shao. Ow. Stress and they resist the stun. And we'll go for Solemnity with Alpha. Heal up for a bit, drop their stress a bit. And we can 
go for the Beast Spile on the Ghoul. Dropping their distance even further and putting them even more of a blight. Go with the Festering Vapors. Debuff on the Blight. Skull Toss on the Shao. Ow. A lot of damage. Stress. Resist the stun. And the Grave Nibble on the Shao. Which they dodge. Good dodge. Very good dodge. Let's go for the Battlefield Bandage on the Shao here. And then we'll go for the Chop on the Bulbous Maggot. They're left alive, but on one. Go for the Festering Vapor here. Or Festering Vapors. And we'll go for the Beast's Pile, which they dodge. It's fine. 12 damage from that blight. Michelle dodges the next hit. Go for the battle for advantage on Michelle again. Pulling them up even more than last time. Then we'll go for the hue. Takes As down the maggot. Falls, and does some more damage to the cool blossoms. Now we go for the Western Vapors again. And the blight is now at the point where it can take care of them. You don't have to worry about that. We'll go for absolution here with Mortimer. Fill them up and get rid of some stress. The blight takes care of the ghoul. The Take what blade. coin and antiques we can. And then keep moving. And we know there's no room battle here. And we do get a scout. There's a room battle up ahead. And some treasure past these two curios. We can deal with that. A push to intact set of experimental equipment. An alchemy table. Let's use the medicinal orbs here. Packs Take laden coin with loot and minor are often low on supplies. An unburned torch here. Wealth beyond measure. Use the torch and take the rare and keep to the brave there. and the foolhardy alike. Deal with the hunger. Get to the door here. In we go. Ancient Webbers and Ancient Sinters. Okay. Let's just go ahead and deal with this. Up everybody's dodge. There's Bite, which will make dodges. Then we'll go for a Beast Spire here. That hits both of them. Blights them both. Debuffs one. Another Bite, which Peshal dodges. Rather handily. Let's go for the sniper shot on this spitter in the back. Good amount of damage. And then we're actually going to go for the hue here. Good damage across both those targets. The spitter spits at alpha. Hits. Lights and debuffs. And then the next one spits at Mortimer, who dodges. Now we can go for another invigorating vapor here to up everybody's dodge. Time to perform beyond go for another one beast file. Crit the first one, two. Both of them get debuffed and dodge. Or, and uh, blighted, rather. And a crit a death by inches. on Dewey. Blights them and debuffs them. And then death a bite on Dewey. The blights them even further. In concentration. And a bite on Alpha, which they dodge, thankfully. Let's go for the hue now. Continually on Take out both of them. Destroy them. We're all. actually gonna go ahead and use the anti-venom here on Dewey. And have them use battlefield damage on themselves. Because Dewey is hurt. Now we'll go for fortifying vapors on Alpha with a crit heal for eight. Go for absolution with Mortimer, crit heal for eight, dropping the stress down to zero. We go for the battlefield bandage on Dewey again. Using them up even further, and then we'll go with the chop on this spitter. The crit for 32. We'll take what we can from this. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Well, we're going to want this jute tapestry. As the light and gains I'm purchase, a couple of torches spirits for are lifted, and purpose Not is that made one. clear. There we, go. we could take the sapphire too if we really wanted to, but not right now. 
said, let's go ahead and use this key to figure out what's in this chest. Rare antique, no crest. Combine those. These can't combine them. I'd like to take those crests if we could, but there's still a lot left to explore here. So we're gonna hold off on that. Now we have to move a bit back. But that's fine. We've been through this area before. And the light and the torch will help us significantly. So we'll go up this way. And then head down the only path that is left to us. That we have not yet explored. Away from those two hallway battles that we don't need to get into. We'll have Pashal take a look at these books here and read a most unsettling passage, which stresses them out and makes them paranoid. The walls close the in. Gold coming the down. shadows whisper of conspiracy. Oh. Yep. Figures you wouldn't be able to disarm the, cha the, the trap when you're paranoid. That probably should have been. In guessed. radiance, may we find victory. And we do get a scout. And it's just a curio in the hallway. There's no room battle. We deal with the hunger. That's fine. All in all, this quest was fairly simple, which I'm not going to complain about. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. All right. Get in here. No scouting to be done. The quest is complete. We can return to the hamlet. The great ruins belong to us, and we will find whatever secrets they hold. Got quite a few antiques out of them. All in all, that mission or that quest went rather well. We came out of that with over twenty thousand gold. A lot of crests and a lot of deeds too. And now Pashal, paranoid though they may be, is also a legend. We got Warrior of Light in place of Unholy Slayer. You know, that's probably arguably better. And then they got the Og. Minus 10% damage, minus their speed, minus 10% max HP. We're going to go ahead and fix that when we get back to the hand. A fresh irritant to some. A sanguine memory to me. Alright. Let's go ahead and take care of Pashal. Gotta get rid of the Og from them. There we go. Mortimer, Alpha, and Dewey are all pretty much okay. So yeah, with Bashal being the only one really stressed out from that quest, that actually went rather well. And we have the Longevity Eye Patch for the Man-at-Arms here, plus 15% max HP, minus 2 speed. Bleed Charm, Stun Stone, and Dodge Stone. We could upgrade the Nomad Wagon a bit. But not at the moment, and none of those trinkets really interest us currently. And on the stagecoach, we have a veteran bounty hunter, an adventurer houndmaster, an adventurer hellion, and then a seeker arbalest, man at arms, leper, and abomination. None of which are of interest to us at the moment. So, we're just going to go ahead and unequip all trinkets, sort them by rarity. And let's real quick have a look at these buildings again. Because I feel like there's some of these we could really, really easily come across, or rather quite easily find a way to work towards. We'd love to have the Sanguine Vintners up before we do anything with the Crimson Cult. I feel like that would be a good thing. For us. We have that up before we do anything with the Crimson Court, that way we have blood constantly coming in, because 
We don't know how much of it we're going to need. Even though we have plenty of it now, that might run low. Getting the granary would be a good bet too. In fact, we're actually almost there. If we get 15 more busts, we can actually make the granary so we could get some food for free each week, and eating it would heal for a bit more. That's actually a pretty good bet. Still, in order to get more blueprints, you have to face more bosses. And in order to face more bosses, we need to send Machel, Just Relax Kid Jr., Pekoth, and Paroi into some situations they they might be uh, might be a little unprepared for. But we'll see what happens there. Either way, that is going to go ahead and do it for this episode of Darkest Dungeon. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to see more content like this or the other kinds of content we put out on this channel, we're going to keep the content coming, so don't worry about that. Hit the notification bell if you want to receive notifications whenever we upload new videos. Leave a comment on the video. It helps us out a lot. It really, really does. Also, remember to leave a comment if you want to have one of the heroes on this roster named after you. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.